GGG has their famous announcement of the announcement. And now I have my famous build update of a build update. That's right, I decided to update my strength stacker one more time. This is because when I had originally done the build, I hadn't quite fixed the prefixes on a couple items. I'm sure that this didn't really bother anyone else. After all, if you can make the rest of a build, you can probably make a ring that has higher than 35 life on it. Or at the very least, purchase a ring that has higher than 35 life on it. But it bothered me, and so I've gone through and I fixed that, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. I also wanted to showcase the build's performance doing Simulacrum Wave 30 with a double boss spawn. And finally, talk about some repathing I did for the tree, as the original setup that I was using, while quite good, did have some inefficient nodes because I wanted two sword masteries, and I didn't really need that in the final version of my gear. If builds, theory crafting, guides, and gameplay mechanics in Path of Exile interest you, be sure to sub to the channel, leave a like on the video, ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload, and also join my Discord as my Discord is the best place to go if you want to talk about builds, including ones like this. On the other hand, if you're getting a little bored of Path of Exile and you're looking for something else to play, I have two recommendations from games that I recently talked about, Last Epoch, which is currently on sale as of the time this video goes live, and just got an amazing new update, more on that in the video in the card and description below, and also Hades, which is one of my all-time favorite roguelike games, and has some of the best storytelling I've seen anywhere. I also have a review on that game, which I recently posted to my second channel, which will again be in the card and also in the description if you want to check that out. So first off, I fixed both my ring and my belt. The ring had 35 life, the belt had, I forget, some really low number. The short version is the process was very simple in both cases. Metacraft, suffixes cannot be changed, then reforge life using harvest. With the ring, this took one attempt, I got very lucky, I hit T1 life and I was good to go. I even had an open prefix where I could easily craft on the minus mana cost that I need for the build to feel really good and do all mods like no leech and no regen. My other ring also had really good suffixes, also had good life, as I was using that to fix mana, so I used a Veiled Chaos originally to craft it. But it did have an open prefix, so I Hunter Slammed it, and I hit exactly what I wanted, which was Life Gain on hit with attacks, so my sustain is even better than before. And finally, my belt had Chaos Damage, which looked like a really shiny, amazing roll. It wasn't all that good. There's so much increased damage from the Strength to Spell Damage to Attack Damage conversion that Chaos Damage just doesn't do all that much. So I rectified that by also reforging life until I hit T1 life. I was hoping to hit T1% life, but I guess I'll just make do with T1 life and have about 6900. Nice. For the damage, the main change that I made is I dropped some low impact sword nodes. They had a lot of increased damage and strike range. The strike range is pretty nice, but using Frostblades for clear, I never really felt like I needed it. And on single target with Molten Strike, I'm fine with just being up in the face of my enemies. So overall those nodes were pretty low impact at this point, and this let me turn my tree into a better spiral to get more value out of the split personalities. Split personality has far better value the farther the sockets it's in are from your starting tree. So originally I had gone directly because that was one point, and now I've spent three to path up through Scion Life, which is a lot better in terms of damage, as I get both strength and accuracy from this. With the last points, I took some 6% life nodes, and I went over to Juggernaut. If I reached level 99, this would let me get even more crit reduction, and as is, it's a great amount of armor. So that is my final build update to my strength stacking, accuracy stacking, pure chaos damage juggernaut. This is absolutely an amazing build, I was using it to farm with 30 simulacrum, and you can now judge the DPS on that for yourself. It's far tankier than the occultist versions and has more damage to boot, and this is one of the few builds that I can confidently say is amazing for uber content even without a headhunter or mage blood. If you played my strength stacker, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you didn't, and if you didn't, then hopefully you enjoyed the footage of the Flawless Chiyula, the Wave 30 Sim, or maybe learned something about the various mechanical interactions and how to structure a tree in Path of Exile. I know we've had a lot of events recently, so today my question to you is, which of the events have you been most excited about, and which are you least excited about? I'd love to hear that down in the comments below. Thank you for watching! And again, a special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. If you want to support me, you can do so by clicking the links down in the description below or on screen right now. You can also support by making purchases through my Nexus page. Or if you just want to chill and hang out, be sure to join the Discord. Again, links for everything are down in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.